We're about to go for what we think will be a super fancy brunch to celebrate our 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, y'all. Getting a 1,000 is going to taste pretty sweet. <laughs> How was that brunch? Delightful, truly lovely, really fancy, and just everything was great. Good service, good food, good drinks. Had a good time. After having an amazing brunch, it was time to check out the famous Prague Castle. Built in the 9th century, it truly is a wonder you can't miss. No visit Valkyrie shows, but there are quite a lot of stairs. Luckily, our kids are playing some kind of Avenger game and haven't even noticed they're walking up. <laughs> so we're at the view of the fortress outside the castle walls, and it's really amazing. You can see the whole entire city, and it just looks like a movie. There are two viewpoints from here that are even higher. One is this building right over there. You see that big white and gray one. Another one is a small Eiffel Tower type building over there which is built out of one-fifth scale, but still might be pretty cool to see a good view. Let's we'll see if we make it. Let's go up this way. How cool is this? Oh man, it's so awesome. Yeah. This is like the real deal. This is amazing. Yeah. Hey, what do you see out there? The glass. Is it pretty? Yeah. Is he going with It was quite a hike, but it was actually worth it. This place is spectacular. We got lucky with the weather. It, being overcast makes it not too hot, and that helps a lot right now. Uh, check out this view. You just can't beat it. Wow. Just wow. And it goes 360 around, depending where you're looking at. So we just climbed that tower behind me and it was so many steps. Like if you have any problems walking, if you were like carrying a baby in your arms, I would say don't do it. But if you at all can, do it. It was amazing. It was spectacular. It was truly incredible. And the kids had a great time too. There's all these bells in there, which reminded us that we really have to show our kids the Hunchback of Notre Dame before we go to Paris at some point, maybe on this trip. But it was just truly incredible. It was really affordable. I think it was like $10 for the two adults to go up. Kids are free. And it was an incredible view. We were gonna hike up to one of these other towers, like the mini Eiffel Tower to see the view. And we still might, but it's really hard to imagine you're gonna get a better angle than you will up there. So when you come into the castle, make sure you prioritize the tower. It's awesome. And if you ever wonder if our kids are just like perfect little kids who like going to museums and seeing things, just know that they are just kids and they are running around like crazy right now chasing pigeons and pretending they're sneaking up on us and they totally prefer that to the tower, even though they liked it. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think this is the home of the president and there seems to have just been a changing of the guards, which is just very cool. And it makes me very excited for whenever we finally take the kids to London to see the changing of the guards there. Mm -hmm. So taking in these breathtaking historic sites really makes you think about the important things in life. Like what matters and commercialized coffee. Look, there's a Starbucks everywhere you go. <laughs> so, one of the tricks of traveling with kids and being prepared, 
Traveling sure. light doesn't mean having to travel unprepared. We always have our Gore-Tex raincoats with us if there's even like a 5% chance of rain. Because the weather shouldn't stop you from having a great time and getting soaked does. Yeah, check this out. Packable raincoats. That's the way to go. I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> Mike and I put ours on first because we don't believe in moving the children. We believe in cameras being protected first. Exactly. There it is. Check that out. Neat little trick. We had a lot of fun looking at historical, amazing things, but now it's time to have a different kind of fun in Prague. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So we're actually at um, Beer Garden Letna. Mm -hmm. We had to take an Uber here. It was like really quick and less than ten dollars to get over here. Uber's the way to go. Cabs can be a little sketchy here and are known for kind of overcharging mm -hmm. tourists. So most people recommend Uber as a way to get around. A little different than our last city where there were no Ubers. Um, so anyway, we came because there's amazing views here, and they actually have a playground right next to the beer garden, which is super common in outdoor beer gardens. So that's how you can enjoy Prague's great beer while still having kids with you. I would say that you want to kind of avoid the taverns because smoking is allowed. So it's not really like in Ireland where like families all hang out inside the bars. But anyway, we got these big beers. It's kind of a tourist viewpoint area. So it was a little expensive. It was about $5 <laughs> for each of these big beers. Yep. And we're going to get some kind of deposit back when we give back the cups. Special cups. So yep. maybe like three, three fifty. I noticed a lot of places in the Prague you can get a beer for about a dollar, a dollar fifty. So literally cheaper than water and fabulous. Delicious. So check out this playground and check out this view. Awesome. So we had a great time with that little play area. We ended up meeting a family where they were half Czech and half from you know, Philadelphia. <laughs> so they really enjoyed talking to some Americans and we enjoyed talking to them. So we got the lowdown on some cool, authentic stuff to do tomorrow. So I'm very excited to check that out. And they even recommended a bike that I think will be the bike we'll buy for Wyatt when he gets home so he can learn to ride a bike because it's about time. The little kids here when they're like three and a half are riding without training wheels. So we'll get Wyatt to do the same. But now we're gonna go to dinner at what we got confirmed from our new friends is an authentic place for really amazing Czech food. I just want to add one last point. A lot of people talk about how they really could never move to another country and how hard it would be. I just want to say that if you have kids, you can easily make friends anywhere. Just go to a playground. After delicious beers at the beer garden, it was time to get more beers and wonderful food at Yukroka restaurant. <laughs> So excited for this. Yes. So I'm having a trollo. It's a very famous pog dessert. It's like a fried donut with custard and strawberries inside. There's all different types. And it's delicious, but probably really bad for you. <laughs>